Hi guys, Paul and Tasha Scale Modeler. So today we've got a review of uh, the Hardest Steam Beck Ultra. Uh, I did a comparison uh, video about two, three weeks ago, comparing this to the Neo. We just went through some of the features, uh, comparing the different, you know, uh, specifications of the airbrushes, etc. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick overview of the Ultra spray test, like I did for the Infinity last month, uh, and we'll go from there. So. I got this from aircraft.net from Martin, superb service, I really can't recommend them enough. Uh, probably the best prices on the net in the UK I can find for airbrush and stuff. And everything's just posted and the service is flawless, so I really cannot speak highly enough of them. So, I've got the Ultra, and I bought this to replace my Neo, uh, which I've had for a while, like I said in the comparison video, but what I'd heard and what I'd seen about this, it looked a better airbrush, I thought I'll buy one, give it a go, as soon as I got it and tried it, I thought right, the Neo's gone and this has replaced it. I've had this now for about three weeks, um, I've just been using it for clear coats and I've been using it with a 0.4 needle which I'll get to in a minute. So today we're going to be using the 0.2 so we can compare it to the Neo. Now you get your cardboard out of sleeve, we have your instruction book which I went through quickly last time, so it's just basic instructions. Uh, I'm doing this today because we did the Neo one uh, a couple of months ago, so basically this is the same version. The problem with the Neo was I couldn't spray it because two seconds before I started filming, I managed to shear off the um, the needle nozzle, which is the main reason I've got rid of it. So that's my reason for buying this. Was just basic overview, uh, the guarantee, exploded diagram, uh, guarantee problems, uh, troubleshooting obviously, uh, cleaning. I'm going back to front. But it doesn't matter. Cleaning, first exercise, so getting thin lines, dots, patterns, etc. Through to commissioning to start not connecting to your air supply. So it's quite a good instruction book, better than the Neos, which is just a sheet of paper basically. Uh, through to the front page, which just gives you correct use and safety instructions. You know, don't be spraying yourself in the face, don't be uh, tagging graffiti everywhere with it, etc. You'd have a job doing that to be honest, dragging a compressor around with you, but never mind. So this instruction book now. I bought the two in one, which is eighty pounds from aircraft.net. Um, to make it more fair to the Neo, I'm going to review it as the point two, and that's sixty pounds. So this is where you get in the two in one. So you get the airbrush itself of two mil color cup, quick release, two mil needle set as standard. Uh, you get the five mil color cup and the four mil needle nozzle set as well. So you get all that for eighty pounds. What I've also added as well, if you can see, is the pinch tip, which is the same. As the Infinity's one, so that just allows you to clean it. And I bought this to use with clear coats, washers, and that's why I wanted the pump for a needle. I thought I'd buy the whole two in one because all these parts, the needle nozzle, uh, the front adapter, they're all interchangeable with the Infinity and Evolution, so that made sense. I've got a spare needle nozzle, but I've only been using it with this in the point four needle. I haven't used it at all, so you are going to get an honest review today of where I think of it with the point two in. So like I said, I bought this set, that cost £80, but to make it more fair for the Neo review, I'm going to take these out and we're going to review it. i just pop these to one side. We're going to review it as is. This is what you get for £60. So you get the box, which is better than the Neo's. It's a plastic storage case. Quite well uh, made. Obviously, you've got your cutouts inside for it as well. So you've always got somewhere to store it, if you're that way inclined. I'm not. Mine all live in a airbrush holder to my right if you've seen it. You get the standard nickel finished airbrush, you get quick release of standard which you don't get on the Neo, uh, you get the 0.2mm needle set which you don't on Neo again, it's a 0.3 or 0.35, can't remember exactly which one it is now, and you get the 2mm colour cup. Now like I said the needle nozzle set which is that, the nozzle itself, the nozzle holder and the needle, they are all interchangeable with the Evolution, the Infinity, uh, that's about it really. So if you've got this airbrush already it's great because you need to change parts, so if you damage one or you need to replace one you can just swap and change in the meantime. And also spares are really easy to get hold of which is great, they're not overpriced. Uh, I think a needle nozzle for this is about £9, uh, for the Neo it was like 15 it might have been more than that actually. Uh, so making this going to cost a bit more on the Neo. Uh, out of the box, one criticism, uh, if you look at the likes of the Infinity, there's finger grooves on the trigger, on this there's not, and obviously I'm a bit spoiled by the Infinities I've got, 
and you do find your finger slipping a little bit but it's a very minor point it's not the end of the world at the end of the day uh, and like I say I haven't sprayed this once with a 0.2mm needle at all so I'm really interested to see how it compares up against like so the Evolution Infinity because it's £60 it's, it's £35 cheaper than any Evolution you can get and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than Infinity so this you know as a starter airbrush should be hopefully a very very good starting point for everybody who needs one. So we're going to do same test we did last time. So we've got a bit of Mr. Hobby H2. It's an old bottle. Bottle you'll have to excuse me. It's been well used, which is just a black. We're going to spray it, and we're just going to see how it sprays as a wide pattern, as a fine pattern. Can we do nice fine lines with it? Basically what I did with the Infinity, I couldn't do it with a nail, but I know for a fact with a 0.35 needle I could never spray really nice thin lines of it. So that's by the by. Quick release, standard hard to steam back connection. We're 25 PSI, as we always are, and the airbrush is spotlessly clean, so we shouldn't get any problems at all. The 2mm colour cup, which I'm not a fan of, because if you watch me spray with the 5mm, I spill paint out of thing all the time, so I'm bound to spill some today out of this. But we'll see. Like I say, to compare it to the price of the Neo, I want to compare it out of the box as it would be for the uh, £60. Let me grab some tissue without destroying the place. Oh, there we go, too late. So, we've got about half a mil of paint in there and a little bit of UMP thinner. So we get about a 50-50 mix. Pop the lid back on my paint. What we'll do, we'll just do the same spray pattern. So we'll see what it does as a Y pattern. We'll see how it does doing nice thin lines, you know. Can we do the same kind of fine line that I've been able to achieve with the Infinity and Evo? And how does it compare overall? So like I say, we're 25 PSI. I'm just gonna mix my paint. So we're around about a 25, sorry, a 50, 50 mix. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I'm just gonna pull it through. Here we go. So I'm gonna leave the booth off. We don't need it on. Not for spraying these parts into the paper. So as a Y pattern, so if you're buying this to you know do an overall model, what does this spray like? Well, no problems there. You're certainly going to cover your model well there. Not a problem at all. Uh, thin lines. So like I say, first time ever using this, so we'll see what we can achieve. As you can see there, no problem there. Can I write my name? Of course I can. Excellent, a little bit off camera, but never mind, we'll do it up here. So, no problem with control. Obviously, it hasn't got the, quite the same finesse as the Evolution or the uh, Infinity, but it's nowhere near the price, and as a budget airbrush, you're not going to go wrong at all. You can do nice thin lines, try and play notes and crosses like I did last time. Now, it's done it. It's not quite the finesse of the uh, Infinity. Maybe it'll take me time. It is, it's a new airbrush to me. So I'll pop a new piece on. I'll take me time this time. I'll get a little bit closer. A little bit more purposeful. So not really paying attention to the size of the lines. We've got thinner to thicker there. So let's see if we can get some nice neat circles, which we can. Crosses. Oh, one with one. I actually won today. Did well. So there you go. So you take your time. You know, you rush it. You get those. Uh, you take your time. You can get very thin. So we do see how thin a line we can get. In fact, we'll do thicker. Working our way down. So you can achieve nice thin lines, nice broad lines, and then your full size spray. So it will do multitude of jobs. You've got the big covers like over here. It's a nice, see how fine I can actually get it. Nice fine lines like so. You write your name, no problem. So there is control there. Now it's definitely not got the same kind of finesse as the Infinity, I'll admit that, but there's a hundred pound difference between it. 
the Infinity is superb as well if the money you can afford it. If you have to start a airbrush, you are not going to go wrong with this at all. Uh, it's going to do everything you need. It's just, how can I put it, it's just not as easy an airbrush to use as the Infinity. It's not as well polished. Um, it takes a bit more work out of you to achieve the best. Because I could normally just bat these out with an Infinity or an Evolution. I've really got to concentrate. And it just takes that little bit, slight trigger pressure and it does that and it goes slightly wider. So, although it will do it, it's going to take a lot more control from you to get the best out of the brush. Which is nothing wrong with that, it's going to teach you to airbrush really well. But if you're pre-shading, I know it's not the most realistic thing in the world to test on a bit of paper, but it's good for practicing. If you're pre-shading, you, know, you can get very, very fine lines. Come back out a little bit, you can get thicker. Circles, no problems you've seen on the Norton Crosses. But I've got to be very conscious of that trigger. The slightest mistake, and it does bite your back a little bit. But for 60 quid, can't go wrong at all. Um, is it better than the, I think we're out of paint there, yeah we are. Is it better than the Neo? Uh, personally, for £15 extra, I'd say yeah, all day long. You're basically getting the same spec airbrush, you're getting the smaller needle which allow for a bit more precise work, but the 2mm needle, as you can see by that there, still allows good coverage. Uh, I use a 0.2mm needle for everything. Uh, I just sprayed a 132 F16 in it, and I, I've got no qualms in covering it at all. Uh, both my uh, Infinities, a 0.2mm needle, one for acrylic, one for uh, metalizers and uh, alkalides and etc. And I never ever think, oh, I wish I had the bigger needle set. Uh, I had an Evolution 2 in 1, and I never ever once used a 0.4mm needle. Uh, I'm just going to clean this one to talk to you guys. Never once used it and I sold it totally unused. Uh, the only time I used a 0.4mm needle is for clear coats because I think they spray a little bit better personally, but they still spray well at 0.2 and more importantly for spraying our UMP washes because of the pigment size in the washes, uh, the particle sizes, they do need a larger needle. They still spray for a 0.2 but they spray a lot better for a bigger one. So that's my main reason for buying this. So like I say, first time using the 0.2mm needle in this and if you're after a starter airbrush for £60, you're not going to go wrong with this at all. Uh, the only thing I would add to it is the pinch tip, because the likes of now where I've just cleaned that out, I like to grab the nozzle and backflow it, and you're not going to be able to do it very easy with this at all. It's a case of trying to be a you know, four hands everywhere kind of thing, and it's impossible to do. So you're just left with cleaning the airbrush out the traditional way, which is filling it up with airbrush cleaner, blowing it out, repeat, etc. Whereas with a bit of back flowing, you can clean out a lot quicker. So the only thing I would add, for £18, I know it's quite dear, is the whole new, you basically get the whole new front needle section here, with a two pronged easy clean, and myself I'd also add the larger colour cup, which is not dear, they're about £5. You know, you don't have to add this straight away, you can buy a starter airbrush, upgrade it as you go, uh, and go from there, but for me, I've been recommending an ear for a long time and for £45, if that's what you want, you're not going to get a bad airbrush, it's still going to do the job. Just a little bit more delicate and hasn't got quite the preciseness of this one. Uh, if you can afford £60, I'd say go and buy an Ultra all day long. Big fan of Hardware Steam back out been for a number of years. Everyone recommended them too, everyone that's bought them has said they're fantastic, they don't regret buying it. Uh, even Lee, who loved his Badger Chrome, said no, no, I'll get any better than this. And he sold his Badger Crown and bought an Infinity, and he loves the Infinity. So it just shows you, you know, they're a quality product. This is their bottom end airbrush, and it, it's absolutely superb. So if you're looking for a starter airbrush, £60, go and get yourself one of these. If you can't quite stretch to 60 go and buy a Neo. You're not going to go wrong with it either, but in my opinion, this is the better brush. It'll do all the jobs you need from coverage, thin lines, writing your name, playing games if you're that way inclined. It's going to do everything flawlessly for you and like I say spares are easy to find they're interchangeable for different airbrushes uh, and that's it really so my review of the uh, Harder Steenbeck Ultra um, superb I'm going to put my 0.4mm needle in here now and go and clear cut my F16 um, and that's it so thanks for watching hope you uh, like that review uh, I'll catch you guys on the forum